Synthesia, the UK's number one growing AI company, just announced their version 3.0 in a keynote, calling it the future of video. I've seen them hanging out and partnering with the CEO of NVIDIA recently. I've made videos about their AI avatars on this channel before. So I watched this packed keynote. And here's the thing. Synthesia is used by a lot of Fortune 500 businesses. And the keynote showed a lot of new video tools that are really useful to businesses. But buried in there were also huge opportunities for YouTubers and video creators, including one secret weapon I want to talk about towards the end. So today, I thought it would be useful for me to break down all those video tools shown in the keynote in plain English and show you how you can use those updates to save time, scale your videos, and unlock new ways to make money. That is what Synthesia 3.0 is all about, pushing the boundaries of the video format with AI. So as I've made videos on Synthesia's avatars in the past, it makes sense to start by talking about the updates coming to those. As you know, body language makes up for more than half of our communication. And with the release of our proprietary Express 2 models, our avatars have never been more engaging or felt more real. Before we were locked to the frame, we couldn't move our hands or truly show emotion. As of today, boom, we can finally express ourselves fully. We've got hands and body control. Real speaker body language is now unlocked, making your videos more engaging than ever. You'll now be able to create entire new avatars with a single prompt and place them into any environment you'd like. The lighting, depth, and perspective look so real that they blend in naturally as if they were filmed on location. You can prompt them in an office, on the beach, or construction site, really anywhere you'd like. You can also prompt an outfit to match that scene. Another amazing update is that you can now prompt B-roll footage of your avatar, demonstrating a task or taking a specific action, like walking, driving, cooking, or anything else you can imagine. So huge strides there in being able to create more realistic avatars that corporations could use to deliver their internal training, uh, HR announcements, or even communications with customers. And that's a huge time saver that I've spoke about on this channel before, being able to use avatars rather than having to film videos yourself. But I've thought of another way they can be used that wasn't mentioned in this keynote, and that's marketing. Think about the number of adverts you could create using those avatars, where each ad includes a different person that you can test against each other to see which is the best performing at a scale that would just be impossible when using human actors. So really powerful stuff and being able to use the same avatars again and again really helps for brand consistency, which obviously builds audience trust. By the beginning of next year, we'll also make it much easier to create personal avatars. Rather than having to upload a video, you can just upload a single image and have access to all the same customization features. And being able to create an avatar of yourself from just a simple image really caught my attention as something really powerful for YouTubers and content creators too. I've played with this type of technology before and know that being able to use a digital twin when you're not able to film yourself can be a huge time saver and let you create tons of more videos. So these avatar updates give you more realistic avatars than ever to let you scale video production. But what about coming up with what those avatars are actually going to say? You simply tell Copilot what you want to make and it'll get to work. First, by writing a clear script. Then, by suggesting visual elements to match it, like avatars, quizzes, B-roll, music, and so much more. So I saw a huge time-saving opportunity there by letting this Copilot generate your video scripts and visuals instantly. You can also give Copilot access to your company's knowledge bases, documents, presentations, as well as brand guidelines, so it can make sure everything you create looks and feels on brand. And that's going to be really useful for businesses, turning dense documents like compliance manuals, policy updates, presentations, and making them into video scripts. So huge speed hack here using Copilot to help you make videos along with those avatars. 
And businesses could also use this as a brand guardian, making sure that any new videos they create align with what is said in their policy documents. There's also a huge potential here for competitor research, being able to plug in successful things that your competitors did in the past and using that for inspiration of what you're creating. That's useful for businesses and YouTubers and content creators. And as a YouTuber, you could also paste in your previous successful video scripts into Copilot and use it to get inspiration for new videos. And that ability to turn unstructured info into video drafts instantly seems useful to anyone. So really powerful tools for making videos faster there. But what about what Synthesia was saying about the future of video? And what about videos that can talk back to your viewer? With video agents, video becomes a two-way conversation. An agent can be inserted at any point in your video to begin a real-time conversation with the viewer. The keynote showed a company employee trying to get better at selling their products by practicing selling to an AI agent that was talking back to him on his computer. And businesses could also use these agents to answer employee questions, making those agent videos way more engaging. I also thought of a use here where a business could put these agents on their own websites to help with sales, answering any questions from visitors and also asking visitors things to decide if those visitors are worth trying to sell to. And you can connect these agents to any of your resources so that it needs everything it needs to know to share your information without you having to do it yourself 24 seven. So companies can make much more interesting videos that can have two way conversations with the viewer here and also huge opportunity for creators too. I'm thinking creators could use these agents to build full digital clones of themselves where their audience can speak to their digital clone and become more connected with them. This announcement seems to be a huge shift in enabling two-way conversations through video at scale, and it was taken even further. Soon, you'll also be able to add quizzes and hotspots, embed third-party tools like calendars, polls, and feedback forms directly inside your video with just a few clicks. So huge opportunity there to make your videos more engaging with those interactive tools that were announced. I also thought that businesses could use this to get more market research by adding polls into the videos that they have on their websites. YouTubers and content creators could use this in their videos to source new ideas for future videos or for merch drops. I just thought this stuff that Synthesia was talking about around the future of video has a lot of opportunity of turning viewers from passive viewers into more active viewers. And everything mentioned so far, let's just make videos faster that are more conversational and interactive. Really powerful stuff for businesses and also a secret weapon in the form of a new income stream that content creators may have missed completely. And that's why we're introducing courses in Synthesia. Courses bring together modular interactive learning videos including avatars, video agents, and interactive elements like quizzes and branching, all in one place. This was huge for me. Obviously, businesses could use these courses for things like employee training, but there's also opportunity there to sell external product certifications to your customers through these courses. Analytics, measuring what course takers understand, lets you identify what is confusing most viewers so you can decide to create follow-up content on those topics. And this is where the secret weapon for YouTubers and content creators comes in. You obviously can't use those earlier mentioned agents and interactivity on videos that are uploaded to places like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Those features won't travel over into those social media platforms. But you could have an AI agent of yourself, which teaches your video viewer everything that you're specialized in and have those interactive elements to test your viewers and help them learn better you can use all of those things inside a premium course that you sell to your audience so this course is released from synthesia provides a completely new monetization model with premium ai courses that you can sell to your viewers i thought this was huge and i didn't want anyone to miss this hopefully this is exciting to you as it is to me.
So you can see how all of these five new features build on each other. Faster video creation, more engagement, real monetization. And I think the key takeaway here is Synthesia may have pitched their tools with like Fortune 500 businesses in mind, but YouTubers could actually really benefit from this future of video that Synthesia is working towards too. And I really do think that courses is the secret weapon. It ties together everything that they mentioned earlier in this keynote. I hope you found this useful. I'll put a link to Synthesia 3.0 in the description to this video so you can check it out yourself. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the announcement. So let me know in the comments below. And the link to that keynote, the full keynote is here. Just click on the screen. If you want to watch that too in full, peace out. I'll see you soon.